Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vishnu Vardhan, Consultant Physician, Medicover Hospitals, Vishakhapatnam. Today I am going to give you small info regarding Zika virus. So we know recently we had a sporadic case load in Kerala. So that was around 13 to 15 patients getting affected with Zika virus. And we have seen that there was mortality with one patient as well. So where does this Zika virus come from? So it was in 1947, uh, there was a sudden sprout in these cases in African countries. So later on, it spread to other countries with temperate climates. So typically South America and Asian countries. So we all know that previously, like two years back, a uh, certain caseload was found in South American countries and uh, some pregnant ladies were affected and we have seen babies born with microcephaly complication. So what happens, uh, like before going to what happens, we have to understand how this virus will be spreading. So commonly any virus or for example, dengue, it spreads with the help of mosquito, that is vector, vector borne diseases. So common mosquitoes which spread dengue or malaria will be able to spread Zika virus. So if anyone is, um, uh, residing at an altitude less than uh, around 2000 meters so you'll be affected with a certain amount of uh, mosquito population so you might be affected with vector borne diseases and you might present with complications or symptoms like fever body pains conjunctivitis and other neurological complications so it is difficult to differentiate whether you're having dengue or zika virus unless you are thoroughly investigated and the cause is found out so what symptoms uh, do we find when you have zika virus most commonly as i was telling only fever body pains and conjunctivitis or skin rash but certain amount of people like around 10 to 15 percent might be having some serious complications like encephalitis which is a, a problem with the brain so you might have features associated with encephalitis or encephalomyelitis or even gulen bar syndrome so these sort of serious complications are seen in certain number of uh, patients and unfortunately if pregnancies are affected as I was telling, microcephaly is one serious complication that uh, we have seen. So you have to get investigated thoroughly so, uh, so that we can find out the cause and treat you accordingly. So what investigations are there to find out if you are affected with Zika virus? So with the help of RT-PCR, we can pinpoint the cause. And another one is ELISA invest investigation uh, with NS1, IgM, IgG titers. So there could be a false positive result. So we have to be cautious in pinpointing the cause. Further on, what would be the treatment? So you all know that uh, any viral infection like dengue and all, uh, simple paracetamol or painkillers will most commonly relieve your symptoms. But if you are affected with serious complications like affecting your brain, then we have to treat you uh, with certain injections and all. So I would advise you to consult your primary care physician or uh, whichever doctor you are currently available with so that we can investigate and treat you accordingly. Hope this information helps. Thank you.